In fact, in so many ways, it is our life. As far as anyone can tell, we're made to battle. We've been created to fight. And to die. And that's fine, because death isn't the end. Ah, sure, it hurts like a motherfucker. But it's not the end. We don't know where we go when we die. We don't know what happens to us. All we know is that we always come back, and in most cases, we return from death healthy and driven and ready to rejoin the battle that rages on right outside these very walls. So remember, give the fight your all, and you can rest assured that you will come back. Where we may be going, and most importantly, what our God and all the motivations and desires of the hand remain the great mystery. What we know for sure is that he gave rise to us all. Each and every one of us owe our very existence to him. But today, we are discovering that the hand, while utterly perfect in every way, does seem to be evolving and changing in regards to both its look, as well as in the way the hand chooses to express us, his creation. So contrary to what a vocal minority would have you believe, it would be a mistake to think we've always looked just the way we do right now. We've all heard the rumors of those who recall in vivid detail the days long ago when we were somehow the same, yet also different. But we've recently discovered images from lands far away that not only prove this theory out, but also seem to indicate that we can be traced back even further than previously thought. Did we ever really look like this? Or like this? Well, that's hard to say, but signs are starting to point towards the affirmative. And if we've come that far, just imagine what our incredible future holds. What we know for sure is that for those of us who keep on fighting, and who keep winning, there's an even more exciting and brighter tomorrow just around the corner. That lie ahead. All hail the hand. How many have fallen in battle never to be returned? That number is one of great debate. But we know there have been many. We call them the lost. Some of them simply could not compete, could not survive on the brutal field of battle. Some fought brilliantly and bravely their whole lives, but could no longer compete in the modern world. And some refused to battle at all, but they were all loved. They were our fathers, our sisters, even our children. And now they are gone, seemingly erased, wiped from existence by the wisdom and grace of the Great Hand. They shall never be forgotten. We must always remember those we have lost. And we must always continue and do that which we were created to do. For if we continue to fight, and if we continue to win, then we shall never truly ever be lost. What our God wants from and expects of us. We shall enjoy your time in the Hall of History and emerge energized and focused and ready for all of the battles that lie ahead. All hail the hand.
subjects, as well as several hidden deep in the margins of the land. The fight is coming soon, so watch the skies and look